Hi guys, today on UK Lifestyle, we're going to the Taste of London festival. I'm going to look around different markets and restaurants and see what this festival has to offer. I'm so excited to try out different food and how different it is from China's taste. What food can you expect from London? Well, I guess cuisines from all over the world maybe. But having them all in one go might be a little bit difficult. So, here we have Taste of London, a wonderland where foodies can find signature dishes from over 40 of London's top restaurants. Apart from that, an array of snacks and drinks in open air markets as well. Selena, don't get too full. So likely when we were around, the weather couldn't have been better. And one thing always connected with the great British weather is Pims. Looks like Selena has just found it in this huge teapot. But why is it in a teapot? Um, Pims wanted to do a hot Pims mm -hmm. for winter. Mm -hmm. And they were serving the hot Pims in teapots. So they made a big teapot to sell it. And um, I know it's a very winter thing. But people love the piece and they come here and um, so we use it in the summertime as well. And it's very popular, it stands out when the, uh, when the sun comes out, we're busy. We pre-cut orange, lemon, cucumber, wow. strawberries and, um, and mint. mint yeah. And what we do then is, we just we top the glass with ice. Mm -hmm. And this is a mix of pims oh. and lemonade. Wow, 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 it's so nice. It's super refreshing, <laughs> quintessentially English. And what we'd like to do then is we'd like to put a roll of cucumber. This drink was created by Mr. James Pims in the 19th century by mixing spirits, wine, spices, and fruit that developed from the popular punch. Since then, it's never been absent from hot sunny days in Britain, like during Ascot and Wimbledon. If you've got a sweet tooth, then you're looking the right place because there are award-winning pastry chefs from different countries here to show off their finest desserts. These chocolates here have got our attention. Selena, stop wine, please. Wow, so this is super cool. So where did this idea come from? Well, so um, nowadays as Star Wars is very popular. Mm. We wanted to make our range with the Star Wars. Mm. So we do, you know, little different things here and there with milk chocolate and caramelized oh. white. Oh, wow. How about this green one? Is it made um, of vegetable or something? Uh, so this one is organic matcha tea. Oh, we matcha. We infuse it in a powder shape. Mm -hmm. So we infuse it with white chocolate. So it's still quite sweet, but you get the tanginess of the matcha tea. Wow. It's quite popular, this item, actually. Yeah, and I think Chinese people are really into those mocha things. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah, it's our selection of pralines. Mm. Um, opposite here, you can see all of our flavors. Oh. We try to get like very fresh ingredients, you know, mm -hmm. using only Belgium chocolate. Mm -hmm. We do uh, from banoffee pie that is very mm -hmm. popular in the UK. Mm. We do have as well some lemon meringue. We have some rose, raspberry and lychee. A lot of like different varieties. Mm. 
our champagne sign. Wow. So as you can see, Selena has been trying everything from everywhere for free. I really don't think she's got more room. I have tried so many starters from the market stores, but that's just my starters. Now I'm going to try my main course. I still have some room for checking out the restaurants. Selena, are you sure? So the first dish we're about to try is fish and chips. What? Wait. Are you sure this is it? Well, yes, this is hook, not your traditional British fish and chips, but a lot lighter. It's, it's black. This icon dish is Guinness and Ink Tempura Hake. Barry tells us they use oyster and sorrel sauce made from fresh oysters from the UK and the wet parts of the protein with a herb that grows wild called sorrel, very zesty. And the chips are also completely different. Hand cut, dusted with seaweed salt, and also use different potatoes. Everything is different and not traditional, making very nick. Surely this festival is not just about British food. What comes next is Asian food with a difference. Coombs is the MasterChef UK winner in 2014. She's here to introduce us their signature dishes. This has been wrapped by our chef, handmade. Everyone oh. is handmade. Is that gold or something? The top it's gold leaf. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and inside is um, really delicious Wagyu beef, and it's really crispy and soft on the inside. Oh. Try some. So we have really, really good sub meat supplier. Yes, so yeah. um, they produce us with like really good meat because the base of good ingredients is very, is very important. And then this is one, and I would like you to try this as well, which is you wow. you're familiar with this. This is mantou. Yeah, yes. But we make it into a sandwich, Chinese roast duck, which we also. But we match it with black truffle and we make it into a garlic sauce oh. and uh, we serve it with a little bit of daikon there wow. for taste that's amazing there is no it's kind of elegant way of doing it so I'm gonna wow. ow <laughs> <laughs> can you taste the garlic and the black truffle it's really quite cool it's quite moorish to eat we call it you want it more and more Food. At this year's Taste of London, Turkey's finest chefs have joined the stage to cook some Turkish dishes. Back here, Selena will take on the Turkish adventure to enjoy this country's classic baked treats such as simit. Mm. It's really nice. Nice choice for breakfast. Is it a fruit gel? Take it out. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's really nice. Turkish food is part of the culture. Mm -hmm. uh, food is very important to us. Um, this is one of the main reasons why we sponsored the Taste of London oh. this year. What we have here is a Turkish delight. Uh, it's actually this is powdered sugar which is on it. That's oh. what makes it white. What you have to the right is pistachios, which is very commonly used in many desserts. I won't doubt that Selena really likes the taste of turkey. See, she can't even stop.
And talking about pistachio, one thing you do not want to miss will be the very traditional baklava. So this is baklava. It's basically layers and layers of pastry. So the oh, top, yeah. Oh. So you can you can split it up so you can just see what inside. Yes. Yeah. So oh. this uh, is not one piece. It's very thin pieces of pastry. It's very thin. It's nearly transparent. Oh. That's what makes it so special. Then they layer it with pistachio and syrup and another layer of dough. Okay. So you can't could... wait to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I really love his touch Let me see. Awesome! Yeah. So, so what nice. you normally would actually do, the traditional way of eating is, you would press down mm -hmm. into the baklava, mm -hmm. you would turn it upside down, uh -huh. and the bottom is supposed to hit the top of your oh. mouth. For oh. full flavor. Oh, right. So it's uh, a common mistake to eat it the way you have, but it's not wrong. Oh. You still get the flavor. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is uh, one of the, I guess, most, I guess this is the most famous mm -hmm. Turkish dish or Turkish pastry in Turkey and probably all around. Wow, I'm so lucky to taste it. No problem, thank you. I think Selena has had a long, tasty day. This culinary journey is great fun, isn't it? Sampling all the different foods and drinks from the market stalls to the best restaurants in London. Watching live cooking demonstrations and catching some live entertainment. So with my limited budget, I have food from worldwide. I have food from Turkey, Malaysia, even have some black fish and chips. It's time to get some rest.